What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about if the Horizon Zero Dawn collaboration with Genshin Impact, right, Aloy appearing in Genshin Impact, if that means that the game is going to for sure release this year or not. I think the general opinion online is probably that it gives it a whole lot better of a shot at, uh, at releasing, and I struggle to say that that's a wrong way of thinking about it. I would say under normal circumstances, when you have a collaboration, and this is a I mean, there's no doubt about it, right? Genshin Impact literally blew up the world uh, in, in a good way, not in a negative way, and uh, it's doing phenomenal. It's still doing well, and this is a big deal. This is a big deal for Genshin Impact players. Now, I have yet to play it. I know how good it is. I know how, well, I know how people have talked about it, but I haven't jumped in, but this is something that is good for players of that game people that maybe are into Horizon but not into Genshin Impact or maybe just people just in general I mean it really it's a win-win no matter you know how you look at it and then again there's the added layer on top of it where does it mean anything does it mean anything does it mean that the, that the game because we don't from what I've seen right they didn't announce a specific release date but people are thinking September October you know I think October is the one that I've seen uh, most often okay so sometime in the fall let's even say so would it be nice to have Aloy appear in Genshin Impact and then a month, month and a half, two months, depending on when we're talking about, the game comes out, Forbidden West. Of course. Of, I mean, that would be lining it up very, very well. The issue is, I, again, while I would I would say there's nothing wrong with thinking it, I think it's very logical. I think it may, you know, I mean, I, I'm not saying anything against people that are thinking it. I will say, I'll actually make the bold claim that I don't think it means anything. And I'll tell you why. For a couple of reasons. Number one, I don't think the collaboration is dependent on Forbidden West coming out at a certain time. You know what I mean? I don't think uh, Genshin Impact's like, okay, well, we want to do this thing, but if Horizon, or even Sony, we want it would probably, I guess, make more sense in that way, right? Sony's like, hey, we want to put Aloy in your game. It's going to stir up a, a lot of buzz. It's going to be awesome, but we want to wait until, like, again, I get it, but then you think, well, they, they do not constrain their own studios. So, like, that would basically be them saying, okay, you, then they go to Guerrilla Games, and they say, all right, look, we just made this deal with Genshin Impact, and Aloy is going to be in the game. So now what we're going to do is we need the game to release within a month of that update. So let's say the update releases October 15th. Your game now needs to come out by November 15th. I just don't. Sony doesn't do that. I mean, we know that. I, I I would say as close to a fact as we can get, right? I don't think they, you know, I don't think that is something that they would do. Um, and because of that, I don't know if you can bank on these two being tied together, right? Because if one, if you're doing one because you want to bank the energy to then do the other one, you're then expecting the other one to hit. And, and again, of course, Sony, I'm sure, wants Horizon this fall. I'm sure Sony is crossing their fingers daily that Guerrilla Games can finish this thing by late November. I'm positive about that. But if it doesn't happen, so I mean, Sony's not going to force it. In fact, I really, I respect the heck out of them if that happens, right? Halo Infinite, if that comes out, right? Microsoft's got their fall killer. Okay, Nintendo, they have quite a few, actually. They have Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. They have a new Super Mario Party. They have Metroid Dread. They have quite a bit going on in, uh, you know, actually, they technically have Danganronpa, even. They have quite a bit going on. Sony would have nothing. They'd have two director's cuts of games that have already released. And I'm not saying anything against them. I'm getting both of them. But... I don't think, you know I mean? I, I actually would say I respect the heck out of Sony if, uh, if they, like, let Horizon go. So that's one thing. A second thing, and th a thing that maybe some people jump to almost immediately, is this is not the first time this has happened. Aloy has appeared in other collaborations before. In fact, a couple of them. Fortnite is one of them. Monster Hunter World is another one. So, look, she's been in two different... Now, uh, Monster Hunter, I believe, was back in 2019. And Fortnite was more recent. I don't remember the exact time, but I th wasn't it around? Was it this past spring or was it last? I I, I get I, I don't play Fortnite, and those things kind of slipped through my mind. But it was definitely within the last year, let's say, that Aloy was there. So what I would say with that is, well, if you're so determined on saying that there's something brewing because of Genshin Impact, then why why did they do the other one? You know what I mean? Like it, it I think. And here here's the easy answer: they did them all 
because they're natural fits because she's a very popular character why wouldn't you do something like that uh they i'm sure sony wants to continue to push her as a character uh, to get people to you know uh, play as her like her even not even in her own game right and then you know uh, on the other side of things they know like the games themselves they know she's popular they know that people already like her so you know it's a it, it's it's something that you don't even have to think about basically right so that's honestly that's the easy answer that's the thing that um it doesn't concern me but i would say to boil it down again i i understand I don't know, like is, there's gonna be people that i'm sure get mad but i would say i understand why people think it and i think the biggest reason people think it is because this collaboration unlike the others is happening during a time period where we think the game's gonna release and where sony and gorilla games has expressed they want the game to release you know what i mean but i i would say though Although that is true, that statement's true. I don't think that means anything. I don't, you know, what I mean, I think this would have this would have happened, or this will happen, regardless of what happens with Forbidden West. If Forbidden West gets delayed till January or February, I think February, by the way, then you know that's just how it is. So you know, I'm not rooting for the game to be delayed because I do want to play it as soon as possible. At the same time, there's a lot of games coming out over the next five months. So if it did get delayed till January or February, it'd have less competition. I'd have more time to play it no matter what happens in terms of like looking forward in time games that are early development games that are in like full-on production this is easily in my top three or five in terms of games i'm anticipating so i'm a huge huge fan and i'm ready for this game whenever they want to give it to us so let me know guys in the comments below what do you think do you think this genshin impact collaboration means anything or do you think it's just a kind of a, a coincidental timing let me know as always make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up give the video a like if you did like it if you guys want to support us in any of our other places we have a twitter if you want to follow us there second channel if you guys want to watch more videos and we also have a patreon and youtube memberships you get exclusive benefits for supporting us there it's not like you're just giving us money all of those things are in the description below besides the youtube join button that is next to the subscribe button thank you for watching guys i hope to see you all on the next video